high school, but I think my favorite play was you level an defender. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, I think they deserve uh, a little payback at that point. Uh, is that your thinking as well? I um, always want to make an impact in some way, and I want them to know I'm there. So if I have a chance to do that, man, got to play strong as a nine. So, yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? You, you had uh, other opportunities and stuff where you were kind of alone up front. The, the team deal wasn't solid in its, in its offense. Tonight, you got in there, you got your first goal in MLS. How does that feel? <sighs> feels good. Feels good. Um, I always wanted to, I always had dreams of scoring a, in the MLS and especially in the bank, like when I first got here, that was one of my first dreams, just scoring in the bank in front of the crowd. And I'm just blessed to do so. And yeah, it's just something I, I really want to do and I'm grateful to achieve. And just the last thing is like you were playing with, you know, Crown Legacy and stuff. How, what, how much was what you were doing with Crown Legacy, you know, helping you transition to this? Yeah, I think Crown Legacy helped me a lot because it gave me game time, it gave me game minutes, and it allowed me to to really get the um, the right movement up to the MLS. Um, coming from college, it's it's a little tricky to just go straight into the MLS. I know some people could do it, but in my in my case, it was hard, and it would have been hard for me just to get straight into it. So I think Crown Legacy really helped me get my game going and let me really have a good feel of the professional level and allow me to do well um, up here too. Is the speed of game much different between the two? Yeah, of course. You know, MLS is the MLS is the top of the the America, and the speed level is definitely different. But in terms of where I was from before and where I'm at like now, it it definitely helped me in that in that step. Great, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Patrick, can you kind of break down what you saw, what you were thinking as the goal was happening in the whole situation? Yeah, um, <clears throat> the ball got out wide and. I talked to I talked to Nate. I talked to um, Kenzie all the time in terms of where my positioning should be when they have the ball out wide. And I think before Kenzie literally told me he said just get in the box when um, we're, we're out wide. And I believe Nathan served the ball in. But um, I always want to be a target in the box. Um, I'm a big guy and I want to use my height. So when I saw the ball coming in, I just said if I get my head on it, flick it back post and hope that it's on target. And saw the ball go in the back and that it was it was a great feeling. Yeah, um, right away I was like, wow, I scored. I scored in MLS. <laughs> this, is, this is a great feeling. Um, but then I, I really started to realize, like, we got to try to get another one. We're at home. We want, we want this crowd to have a great, like, ending of the night or beginning of the night, you know? And we want them to, to leave here with the win. So at first I was just very excited, celebrating, and I was like, let's go again. Let's get another one because I want to keep scoring. That's, as a striker, you want to keep scoring. So um, unlucky he couldn't do it again, but I'm just grateful to help the team get a point. Patrick, just to piggyback off of uh, what Steve said, going from Crown Legacy, playing in front of like hundreds of people and out of the bay, playing in front of thousands. Yeah. Can you just talk me through kind of how that's transitioned in like the environment wise, going from you know, like sports flex to the bay and just how that's helping. Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. Um, the first game at the sports flex, I was very nervous. Um, I realized this is much the start of my professional career, and it was challenging. Um, the speed and everything I had to adjust to, and it was just me realizing this is the this is the start. And I, I love I love how my journey usually is, it's starting from below and coming back up. So um, when I came here, um, my first thoughts was relax, and you're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. You've done the work. Just show what you can do and prove to yourself what you can do. You know so. I always tell myself that my, I have great people around me that continue to tell myself that like I'm good for a reason, I'm here for a reason. So I just wanted to just show that and I was able to do so tonight. Right. Did you, did you have a celebration in mind about the scoring or you just go and run? Yeah, you know, um, if you watch the second team game, I have a little day of celebration. Um, we were down a goal, so I really wasn't trying to do the celebration. <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna do the celebration, but um, Hopefully, more as more time comes, I score a couple more goals. Then we'll see my we'll see my signature. Nice. And then talk to me a little bit about the environment in that locker room, right? It looks like uh, I mean, you guys have been through some tough times, yeah, good and bad. Uh, but it looks like uh, overall, outside looking in, yeah. there's a strong unity between some of you guys. So just your perspective on it. 
Yeah. Um, I can start from like even just coming in first. I was very nervous coming into a professional environment, first team stuff. I was like, I don't know if these guys will even talk to me. But from the beginning and even now, it's they're these guys are like my brothers, and they treat me like, as one of them. And they're always behind my side. Like you even seen the interview with Ashley last week. You can see that that's the brotherhood we have, and it's a family environment. And I'm just so blessed to be here because I could be somewhere where maybe it's not the same, and it could really potentially um, affect my game. But these guys always encourage me each day, training, everything I do. They want me to get better each day, so it's good, and I'm happy to be here. I love Brandon pointing at your shirt. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's my brother, man. We're we're always together, so that's my guy, and hopefully we get more more moments together. Yeah. What he told you to do. Yeah, he told me to play strong. He told me to work hard and do the things, the right things. And that's my main focus. It's just to press hard, um, hold the ball when I can, create plays if I, if I can. And he just told me just to work. And he said to do the things I've been doing in training. Because in training, I've been working hard to prove myself. And he, he thinks um, I'm getting there. And he took his time with me. And I'm just happy how he's, he's treating me in this, in this team. Okay. Yeah, uh, considering uh, before tonight, Yeah, I think the main thing is take the positives. Um, in this game, there's a game every week, every other week or so. So you always want to bounce back. And I think this game, although there was a couple of mistakes in terms of um, conceding goals, we were attacking today. And we had a good attacking style today. You saw we were pressing, we were creating chances. And I think for us as a team, that's a positive. And our main thing is creating chances. And I think we did a lot tonight. Anyone else? All good? All right, appreciate it. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh...